If I go back into time, honestly, right from my childhood days, possibly when I was say 12, 13, 14, or even 16, but I had seen my father. He was a real giver, and uh, he was a professor of physics in mm. one of the uh, central universities, and uh, he used to teach physics in the university. And uh, I'm talking of uh, late 70s and mid 80s. A lot of uh, offers used to come to him in terms of joining coaching, coaching centers and earn some extra money apart from what he was earning in the university. And uh, every time I would see and observe that he would say no. So there I, and uh, he taught hundreds of students free in those days where he could have made, I think, few millions or few lakhs. So there I, uh, those things really got into me yes money is not everything and uh, money has to be earned in the rightful way and there has to be a, a way also to share that at appropriate time why i moved to the development sector is a very interesting story and it possibly it is covered in the book but briefly i will tell you that there was an incident or an event when i was say 35 or 36 which i've defined in the book which uh, really so I changed my thought process and then I started really looking at what is the purpose of life. Because that's the most important thing. I've, as I said, my, this is my personal view. What is the purpose of life? Where one wants to reach or one wants to attain? Because still 36 possibly I was only thinking about myself. Myself means me, my wife, my child, my mother, my sister and so on. But that event, as I said, to keep telling is mentioned in the book. Uh, really in the, the perspective of life is yes, at some point of time there has to be a purpose of life where you are able to contribute uh, in some form to the community. So with that uh, uh, you can say thought process life went on and uh, in 2013 I quit my corporate job. I was 53 that time and now almost now in my 10th year of uh, uh, total uh, you can say giving. Kindness sometimes looks like a very heavy word to me if you ask me. After all, who are we? We are, if you look at it, we are point zero zero zero. I don't know, you can put million zeros and then one part of this cosmos. So what is this? I wonder if we kind of, God has given this opportunity to be honest. So whether you call it kindness, you call it support, you call it guidance, you call it mentoring, coaching, counseling. I personally have stopped using the word help because help is again a very heavy word because it looks like as if we are, sorry to say, we are like gods and we are helping. No, no. We are just counseling, guiding, mentoring, coaching so that we are able to at least uh, support some few lives who possibly otherwise could have fallen off the track. Kindness, again, as I said, uh, I normally use all these phrases, but kindness again, as I said, yes, we have to be kind. Even when I'm saying thank you to someone that extends uh, my kindness to him, that I'm acknowledging something good and I'm thanking a person. But one thing is uh, very sure. That's what my again view is that someone who is part of a development sector and it could be by any area. It could be for environment. It could be for animal <coughs> change. It could be for water conservation. But uh, someone has to have some sort of a passion for that. Someone with a passion should get into any of the development sector. And I am at my center or when I am with the children. Obviously, my biggest purpose, which I feel, is that we have to make good human beings and good citizens of this country. So I have my famous uh, uh, five C's which I keep propagating and I would share with you here also that I normally tell there could be other uh, things which could be added but five, among these five C's which are very popular uh, as per me are one you has to cap uh, is a character so one has to have a, uh, what's up, the highest level of character then a conviction has to be there then a commitment has to be there whatever you do you need to have some courage so you may fail sometimes, you may not succeed, but then you should fight back, have the courage to fight back. 
And yes, the last one, C, is the curtsy. Curtsy, one should be courteous enough. You may grow in life, you may become anything, but your feet should always be grounded. So you should be courteous and humble. And uh, as part of the journey, kindness, again, as I said, uh, is a word which obviously when you have a purpose, kindness automatically flows out of it. Right. So that's how I look at uh, kindness. Uh, I'm sure everyone is passionate about something. Let me put it that way. You may be passionate about dance or maybe about singing or about painting, or whatever. We all get one life. That's we we all know nothing is new, I'm telling. So at least whatever passion we carry, at some point of time we should think of pursuing it. Like I am pursuing for last 10, 12, 13 years. Pursue that and plan your uh, life and finances because. Obviously, you are used to a certain level of living, and I'm sure, which I started doing, as I said, from 36 onwards. One uh, last statement I would make is that follow your passion. Yes, we all are in that rat race. Everyone wants to become a president, vice president, CEO, MD. Yes, no harm, no dream should be there, and uh, one should aspire to reach that. But apart from that, just also follow your passion. Mm -hmm.